we are talking advertising. And just to note that, that all advertising is technically the responsibility of your broker. Here is gonna be my number one suggestion for your career. Before you spend any dollars on marketing, make sure whatever advertising design you have, you get in front of your broker and you have them, I would even say, sign off and approve. That way, if something is inaccurate on it, you know that you have their eyeballs on it. So if it needs to be redone, um, and you have to repay for it to be redone. I've seen agents do that where they had some print material that then had to be retracted and redesigned and reprinted. So get that in front of your broker. And like I said, maybe even get them initialed or some sort of an email that gives you an okay on it to proceed. Because I'd hate for you to spend money on something that maybe was missing some content. Um, what we do want to let folks know is uh, these four items, which we have discussed before that must be a part um, of your marketing. Your name, no abbreviations. Um, and if you're going to use a nickname or something like that, make sure that it's also on file with the Real Estate Commission would be my suggestion. Or you use your name plus that, but don't just go by something that is not on file with the Real Estate Commission. So your name, the name of the firm you're affiliated with, and again, not abbreviations. Um, I shouldn't for Amy Schaefer Real Estate use ASRE. It's got to be spelled out, Amy Schaefer Real Estate. The city and state where your office is located and the states which where you hold a license. So I've said before, mine says Amy Schaefer, Amy Schaefer Real Estate, West Des Moines, Iowa, licensed in Iowa. And if you've got licenses in other states, you would add those obviously to your tagline. Now, the state does allow you to do a for sale by owner, sell a property under your own name if you really do truly own the property. That is allowed by law, but I want you to double check before you try to sell your own property on your own as a for sale by owner because your broker may have a written company policy that does not allow it. I know I don't allow that at Amy Schaefer Real Estate because my assumption is if I'm not going to hire myself as an agent and do it for sale by owner, I'm just telling the world that they can do it on their own as well. So do check that might be a broker policy. And again, we put, should not put a sign on any property that we do not have a written listing agreement with. 